Some people do not know that Kemper has an Android version for Rick Manager. So as you can see, the interface looks exactly the same as the iOS interface. I'm using my Kemper player to show you um, how this interface operates. Very simple, very basic. First of all, we have the system. In system, you'll see three blocks on top left corner that says foot switch one, foot switch two, and foot switch three. There they are. You can set each foot switch to various functions. Then next up uh, is the tuner. You can either set it up to mute or still hear your guitar uh, when it's active. Then we have the external foot switches. Here you can decide dual switch, single switch, profiler switch if you buy the profiler foot switch, and then also uh, your wah and volume options. Polarity is also in here, and if you're using a dual foot switch, they've got um, two switches for two polarities. Then um, again, you can set up what the ring or the tip would do in your camper profile. Just briefly, okay, so I'm going to move on to the rig. Uh, in the rig we have panorama which is left and right pan basically transpose which is a great function electronic or digital capo then we have rig volume so in this particular rig or patches main volume and then you can also set up uh, the volume pedal here move uh, on to the next page so input a page, very simple, you've got noise gate uh, that you can set up there. Your clean sense is like a volume control for clean tones to balance your clean tone volumes with overdriven volumes. And then effect block one, and you can choose all sorts of effects there. Um, effect block two, exactly the same, you can choose from that, and then we get to the Amplifier stack and with a lot of controls there that you'll be familiar with um, Something that they have removed uh, In the Kemper player is things like compression biasing, etc. But the definition button is still my favorite if you go to the right more modern sound to the left more vintage sound then the cab interesting on iOS, uh, there's more settings available for the cabinet. So here I can see a difference. Uh, then uh, effect block number three, typical again, effects, you can choose whatever you want. Effect block four, same thing there. And then finally, the output stage, which is the fantastic mixer that uh, Kemper has. Uh, and there's no other brand or product that has this mixer matrix where you can set up so many things and also the Kemper cone which is a beautiful function if you have uh, a Kemper cone cabinet uh, either powered or with an external amplifier I use mine all the time you can still send two different signals one to the cabinet and one to front of house uh, but I usually would send to front of house the rig with the cabinet that was profiled with or if I've changed the cabinet maybe on that rig but I will usually then on my Kemper cone switch that cabinet off and decide which speaker um, configuration I want in my Kemper cone that concludes this video